Hello, this video is going to focus on drawing shapes and using repeat to simplify the code that we write. So if you haven't already done the checkpoint from part one of this tutorial, I should go do that now because I'm about to give it away. Uh, if you have, uh, go ahead and follow along. So I've got um, just kind of a basic reset script set up there. My goal, my first goal is to have Alonzo draw a square. So, well, he's going to have to move. If I want him to draw, he's going to have to put the pen down first. I'll have him draw it 50 steps across. So I'll move, and then he's got to turn. I'll have him go clockwise, 90 degrees. And that's kind of one side of my square. And now I need another side. So I'm going to reset things and have him move, turn, move, turn. There's half my square. Um, I need to do two more sides, so if I duplicate on top of that move, it's going to grab everything from there down. So I've got now four copies of the move, turn, move, turn, move, turn, move, turn. And that makes me a square. Um, right, It pretty much just appears out of nowhere. If I wanted to, I could go put weights in to make it pause periodically as it's drawing. Um, but I don't need those in, and since it's working fine, I'm going to get rid of them. Now, this code is not the prettiest. Um, first of all, it's not terribly apparent what I'm trying to do. Uh, if I run it, I see, oh, okay, it draws a square. If I read it carefully, move 50, turn 90, move 50, turn 90, move 50, turn 90, um, I can see more or less what's happening, but it it's not entirely obvious, right? I've got to stop and count and go, oh wait, he's repeating the same stuff four times, it's drawn a straight line and then turning 90 degrees, that must be a square. Um, I've got another issue. So this currently is kind of ugly to modify. Right now I'm drawing the square. Let's say I want to change it to draw a pentagon, five sides. Now I can't just duplicate those last two pieces and add another move turn, or he's just going to draw a five-sided square. I just double draw one side. That didn't really help. Um, to draw a pentagon, I have to change how far he's turning. To figure out how far, well, I'm going to have to do a little bit of math. Um, fortunately, what I know is if he's going along and I want him to turn instead of going straight to make the next side on a pentagon, anytime I'm doing that, I'm talking about the exterior angles of a polygon. Um, and the exterior angles of a polygon add to 360. So if I know it's a pentagon with five sides, I know there's five exterior angles, I can divide 360 by five and figure out that each one of those exterior angles is 72 degrees. So if he's going along and then he turns 72 degrees, does it again and again and again, that should get me my pentagon. So, just for grins, I'm going to duplicate this. So I've got to copy my square. And here's my pentagon. And so I need to turn 72, 72. Oops, I typed 62 in a couple spots. Um, I unintentionally illustrated what I'm trying to show, which is making modifications to this isn't real easy. I've got to find every place that I was using the same measurement and, and change it. And great, then I get my, my pentagon. Uh, but it's pretty fiddly. We'd like a way to simplify this. Anytime in programming when you find yourself kind of copy and pasting the same block of code, this chunk in this case, um, over and over and over, there's probably a better way. We usually seek ways to avoid repetition. One, it's always hard to read repetitive code, um, and two, it's it's harder to modify that. So the big tool we have right now is to repeat something. I want to draw a pentagon. What I really want to do is repeat this one chunk five times. So the repeat block says allows me to specify how many times, so let's say five times, and it's going to repeat whatever I put inside of it. Um, so if I do this, I put the pen down and I repeat five times. I move 50, turn 72. Let's reset him. Get the same exact behavior. If I put a weight in, 
This says to move, then turn, then wait, move, turn, wait, move, turn, wait. Do that five times. And we can actually see what he's doing as he, he goes through. Now, once we get done repeating, we're going to go ahead and do anything else that has to happen um, with the rest of the script. So, I don't know, let's go ahead and tell him to move um, 100 steps. Um, and before he moves, let's have him pick up the pen so he's not drawing a, a line behind him. So, I'm going to clear things out. Um, I don't really care about the, the weight one second. Well, let's go ahead and leave it in. So he's going to draw the five sides of the pentagon. Now he's done with the repeat. So he picks up his pen and he moves 100 steps. All right, at that point, I could have him do something else. Let's have him draw the square. All right, so we'll reset him. Let him draw his pentagon. Move 100 steps. And then he draws his square. Oops, his square has still got five sides. So let's do the same thing with this square code. Um, to draw a square, I definitely don't need five sides. I need four copies. So that's just repeat. How many times do I want to repeat? I want to repeat four times. Um, I don't need to repeat the whole thing, so let's break off everything but the first copy. And we can just trash that. Right, so we'll reset him. And let's do this. So we can see him draw the square. So we come in five times, we draw and then turn 72 degrees, then we jump 100 spaces, and then four times we draw a side, turn 90 degrees, and there's our square. Now I'm going to break this down for, for a second more, um, kind of gets down to the, the, the two different parts, and reset Alonzo. So the last part I want to do is I want to draw kind of a, a whole row of triangles. Um, so first, let me start by figuring out how to do a triangle. I'll do the same kind of math. Um, I know it's 360 degrees. Divide by 3 gives me 120 degrees out there. All right, I can go cheat and find a website that shows me the same thing. That's how far I have to turn. If I'm trying to draw a triangle, I need to draw three sides, so we'll repeat three times. I'll move, I'll make my 120 degree turn, and the weight's nice just to kind of see it happen. Cool, so there's a triangle. And I want to draw, let's say, four triangles in a row. One approach I could use would be to you know, do this, put the pen down, do the three sides, pick the pen up, move over, and Right. Then do the same thing again, and then let's do the whole thing over again. So I've got four copies of the same code. And so he draws the first one, hops forward, draws the second one. It works, but it, once again, it's kind of ugly. It, it's obfuscating the fact that I'm really just doing the same thing um, four times. We'd like to make that a little bit more apparent. So um, I'm going to clear him off. Let's break this back down to just the essentials. Get rid of the extra copies. And what I really want to say is repeat this process four times. We can put anything we want inside a repeat, including this big script that has a repeat already. So if I say do this four times, I'm basically saying put the pen down, Draw a triangle is what this repeat says. Pick the pen up, move over. Do it again. Again, so we'll do four triangles. So the code is shorter, which is nice. Shorter is not always better, but it does make it a, usually easier to read. Um, it makes my intent very clear. I want to do the same thing four times, right? Not depending on someone just reading this big list of code and realizing, oh, it's the same thing over and over and over. It makes it much easier to change things, right? I decide I don't need that weight anymore. I just pull it out one time and I'm ready to go. I decide I really wish those triangles were a bit bigger. So let's just increase the to 75 how big each side is. 
much easier to modify the code as well because I'm not hunting down the same thing in multiple spots and trying to make changes. Uh, a repeat can always be part of a program. Once again, a repeat can be inside a repeat. And what we always have is kind of three regions. Stuff that I want to happen one time. Right? And if I take off that outer repeat, it says the pen down happens once. And then the stuff inside the repeat that we do however many times the repeat says. And stuff afterwards, which happens. Um, now we're back to just doing each thing one, one time. Um, and so this is the draw one triangle. But if I repeat that whole thing, now I'm getting the four triangles.